today we're going to be painting that guitar. Check it out. I got three concoctions. This one's yellow, that's one coat, two coats. This one's brown, one coat, probably dark enough. That one is a mixture, half brown, half yellow. We're gonna start with this one, got a little test piece here. I don't have much of this wood, it was like stupid expensive when I bought it, so I don't have a lot of scrap. So here's our sample, I went one too dark. So I should have just left it one really light coat on the mix there and I think it would be about perfect. have a quick look at our spraying rig today for the tint I use this little touch-up gun and I'm going to tell you right now uh, the dye stuff the water-based dye going through a rig like this does not atomize for crap it's gonna drip on you you got to be ready for it uh, have a rag to blot drips just just be ready for it. it's not easy uh, I am using MS 100 matte clear and this cam was used as a paint stand uh, when we did project 54 so it was uh, it turned black but I know what it is I can you can faintly see the number there uh, so I know what it is we got MS or MH 110 which is a matte hardener I'm gonna mix it up and see if we need to reduce it just a bit and if we do I'll put a little urethane reducer in it whenever you get ready to spray have a trouble kit ready uh, if you don't do this, the paint can be such a nasty thing. I've heard it said before, paint's a beautiful thing, but it can turn on you in a second, and it's like a dragon. So, uh, paper towels, this is a wipe all. It's supposed to be a little bit more lint free. I've got another one there. This will go in my back pocket. So, if anything happens while I'm shooting, there we go. Got a measuring cup. Some people use the plastic graduated throwaways. I like the glass one, I can clean it and uh, has a nice little handle, a nice little spout, you know, all of those things. A little stir stick. We're going to be using the uh, respirator today because this is a uh, isocyanurate type product. So we're going to have a fan on, we're going to be clearing it out, and uh, going to have a brand new, you always want to pop new respirators on. This one here, if you're sanding and you have a 3M respirator like this with these cartridges, get these, the 2097s. Uh, you can actually breathe better, I, I, I find, you can breathe better through these than you can through these. They're cheap and they last a very, very long time. They're really nice. And then of course we have a filter with our full-size gun. I've, I've tried to spray clear with this little guy and just had no, it doesn't atomize and uh, doesn't break up right. Just, just doesn't seem to work for me. Uh, so there we go. Got some tape. We're going to tape parts of our gun. Uh, to make sure leaks don't find their way onto the guitar. The guitar is hanging up over there already. So, uh, yeah, here we go.
matte clear on it and four coats of tint. There's not a whole ton of color to it. I just wanted to make it look a little more antiqued, I guess. The wood is like really, really white if you can't tell in the videos. And so I just wanted to put a, a bit of color in it and it's a little variegated, which is just fine. I want it to be, you know, I use spalted lumber there because I thought it would give it some character and, and I think the little bit of striation in the color and all that just adds to it. But you can see there's just a really, really light peel to everything, which based on my setup and my experience level, I kind of figured that would be the case. I believe some of that will flatten out as it lays out, as it's still laying out. And uh, the stuff that doesn't, you know, I'll play the crap out of this guitar and that'll probably take a lot of the texture out of, out of it over time. There's one little run on the neck right there and I'm going to be sanding the back of that down anyway just for playability. That's how, oh, I like some guitars. But uh, you can just see the sheen on the back there. That's a much better view. Just gorgeous. I am so happy with the results this time. This is heads and shoulders above the last time. This is not exactly, exactly what I was going for. I wanted it just a little bit darker around the edge, but I really wasn't risk, gonna risk turning it pink and it just started to get a little bit of a red hue in here even though I was using a brown. So I just stopped. This, this is so close to what I wanted and I am very, very happy with this. I'm gonna stick this guy out in the sunshine here in about an hour after it, you know, after it hardens up just a little bit, I'm gonna put it on uh, my stand over here out in the sunshine and let it bake. That is it for the guitar paint. Don't let your meat load.